supposed to come around here later. Possibly. Seth's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. He shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. Thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca, who wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But gestures carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a portion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. Come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. 
after the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut. And then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can't leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Oh, watch yourself around my files. There's a system. going in there? How you think? Huh? Heading for cover! Jump the motherfucker! Your ass is fucked! How the fuck we let him get away? Maybe he couldn't you can have gotten him. He ain't here. Keep looking. Body here. Run for cover. I'm all boxed in. He's reloading. We got a score still now. I'm empty. Give me a second. He couldn't have gotten far. Quit daydreaming and find Do it. Do your oh. fucking job. <laughs> He's picking us up! That shit's all him. Let's go!
That shit's all him. Let's go. He's gone. Means I'm oh, done. Go back there and check. God damn it, we gotta find that asshole. The fuck was that? I ain't giving up that easy. See what huh? Fresh body here. I ain't giving up that easy. Buddy! Oh, some bitch ain't breathing. Maybe I should look over there. Slow motherfuckers die first. Fuck out of me. Look, we're going around. Ain't no one feeling real secure about that place, so we just keep at it. I ain't giving up that easy. Like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. Bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. It's the worst place to shoot a fellas in the forehead. The skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. 
I'm guessing he didn't go for it. Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. He want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur, never sat on a big score before. money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop, make him prove I deserved to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. I heard he brought his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Put a number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. Like I'd leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. I'm gonna need your help. Look, pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. What's your partners now? As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. Lincoln, I'm uh, still trying to get this place back in order. You gotta help me get my businesses back. These Marcano fucks have gotta go.
it's not the commies dropping the bomb, it'll be one of our own politicians. Which is exactly why I'm... Vito says you're reliable. Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men Andy Toretto for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Toretto runs a tight ship. You should be able to get some of his guys talking. You want to work the docks, sure. You have to kick up to the Union. But this shit on the Greco? Well, that makes a change. What's he gonna do? Huh? Whatever it takes to find... This show on the road. Better have something for me today. Greco. 
Fucking make it a working man, boy. Rico. Make it a working man, boy. Cocksucker, Rico. Up. Hey, he's over here! Molotov? Holy fuck! Over here! He's over here! Please! Molotov! Taking cover! We're dealing with. Go see if he's over there. That him? We're dropping like fucking flies. Grabbing cover. Maybe I should look over there. Swore he was here. Looks like place else, boys. Maybe I should look over there. Dropping like fucking flies. We got another man. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Where are you at? Where you Let's try over there. What hell over there, maybe? Nice piece of. Can I get a resupply in River Road? Vito says you can help me get this bread of mine to a safe place. Sure can, honey, and a friend of Vito's is a friend of mine. Be there like a split. 
You want something? You let me you know. Need to make a deposit, Trevor? Let me see what you got. This We're good. Call me if you need. Keep this safe. On my way. Call me if you need me. Check that out. The fuck is mine? That's a nice Keep sight, you boys. Huh? That him? Get this. Think of my shot. He's scaring the birds away.
Good time don't belong here. Motherfucker just got hisself humble. Got you figured out, boy. And there's no getting away, boy. Vito sent me. You're Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now, and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco's scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his uncle Sal give him a break, but no. So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. Business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. You get hold of any Roy's guys yet? They're sure to talk if you, uh, ask just right. Roy's problem? He's got a pretty wife. It's how the dumb son of a bitch wound up buying a house and a car he couldn't afford. What Greco don't seem to get is this isn't the kind of work where being flashy is gonna get you any further.
Watch it. Hey, careful! Hey, you! What the fuck's making that sound? Get around where he can't see you! What's making me- oh.
off, Roy. Roy Thibodeau is a goddamn pussycat. He'd probably give you a case himself. Now, can I meet Darlene's friend or what? Hey, bro, you hear that? Quiet over here, too. I think he's split. You want to believe that? You don't miss it. Tell me what's going down at Roy's warehouse. The boss is trying to get medical supplies to Cuba for extra cash. I don't know where the shipment is. Can have you talking.
Kumar. Marina wants to see that baby. I stay. You want to keep the family stuff out of the game? Uh, uh, come on over this weekend. We'll be glad to have you. Huh? I'll flush him out. What? Huh? God damn it! You got another one! He's clicking steel! Shoot him! Get him to fuck off me! Come on, motherfucker, you own size. Took this boy out. Just found a oh, stick. Someone took this boy out. He ain't here. I keep looking. Oh. He must have took off. See if you can find that. Bug. Scared asshole? See if you can find that fuck. Dumb fuck got himself killed. Where'd you go, you fuck? Come from the other side! He's long gone. See if you can find that fuck. Too Only late to run. Oh, Say goodnight to the asshole.
careful. Why is huh? he sneaking around like that? Get this shit moved out of here. Don't feel right. Brother, it's not like the law is gonna catch us running TVs or some shit. No, they just gonna catch us running medicine. Medicine we stole from a goddamn charity. Now you get a conscience. My friend, them commies, they're paying us with greenbacks the same as anyone else. Boy needs to pull his head out and stop doing every damn thing Greco tells him.
thinks maybe it's time I went to confession. What? Like, forgive that sort of thing? Yeah, Darlene's all over my ass about it. Why, if guys don't go to confession? Bullshit. You forget what kind of work we're doing here, kid? Not like you can tell father about dumping that hole in the go- Tell me my goddamn day. Spotted him, come on! Anybody follow you? Boy, it's rattled. Scared of Greco. Terrified of you. <laughs> Heard he started sleeping at the warehouse. It's the only place he feels safe. Good. Means I have an easier time getting my hands on him. Once he's taken care of, we'll move in. Vito will turn things around. You'll see. That poor fucking Roy is back at the off. warehouse. Do what you gotta to do. Getting rid of Mr. Thibodeau. It's good odds. Whatever that was, it was bad. That got me that easy to take down, boy. Give it a shot. There. I'm 
see him! We're getting shot up! Get, get down here! So, you know the new kid, right? I know I heard something. He ain't getting away. Gonna blow What's the danger to find forward? that cunt! Shit, that him? We're down another man! Huh? Maybe you can find him. Medic!
He ain't getting away. But he ain't here. I got Keep a mind it. stand for myself? Now I got him! Get around where he can't see you! Get him! Two bills for the man who snuffs this fuck. Shit! I got that cocksucker! I got that cocksucker! Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. Nice work. Those Fanooks never should have fucked with me. I'll send some of my crew. You take the Dark Union back, and then fuck Greco will be done. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Scaletta is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. 